we are uh, talking about the Tokyo Olympic Games and few of our top uh, medal contenders have crashed out but some of them are still in contention. Let me uh, go over to Hina Sidhu, a uh, multiple time Commonwealth Games gold medalist and Asian Games gold medalist as well. Hina, thank you very much for joining us on the show. First thing first, you know, there's been a lot of talk about India making double digits uh, in the medal tally this time around. Uh, uh, what do you make of those predictions? Can India still make it double digits? No, uh, I never believe uh, those predictions uh, um, even before the Olympics had started. So, no, double digits, not yet. We are not there yet. Uh, you know, from two uh, medals at the Rio Olympics, you can't just suddenly go to uh, double digit medals. Um, I would have been happy uh, with five medals from the whole of Indian contingent, but right now I am hoping for at least three. Okay, three from 127, that's what Hina Sidhu says is a realistic expectation. Um, Hina, since we have you on the show, let me ask you what really happened to Manu Bhakar and Saurabh Chaudhary? Would you say stage fright after? you know, even after having five, won five gold medals at the World Cup? See, I will not compare uh, World Cup performance to Olympic performance. If you want to compare apples to apples, you compare a match which happens every four years. That's World Championship. And, I mean, we had a similar kind of show over there. I, I'm not talking about the junior medals. So you can't just say you did very well at the World Championship because of the number of junior medals that you won. Uh, but if you look at the World Championship performance, uh, it's sort of similar to what we're doing in, in the Olympics. The so World Cup is something that happens four times in a year. A uh, World Championship is something that is of equal uh, level, if not higher. So, so someone like you who has played many World Cups and won many World Cup medals, inc including gold medals, would say that that's not a yardstick to assess your form and your performance, is it? Yes. Okay, we also have Ranjan on the show with us. Ranjan, uh, the president of uh, NRAI uh, is uh, already gr giving press statements even before the events are over. Uh, tell us what impact does it have on the players' psyche because some of them are still to shoot their events over the next few days. Well, uh, you don't forget, you know, there's a young lot there. You know, these guys are youngsters, I would call them, you know, that, uh, you know, the first time going there, teenagers and all that. So I understand, you know, what transpired is not good and we were not expecting all this, but you know, whatever has happened has happened now. We can't undo it, you know, but let's stay with the youngsters. They are future and, you know, they will do well. And a lot of them first time going to the games and a lot of pressure, uncertainty and everything and so forth and so forth, you know, mm -hmm. but I still feel uh, there's a few events to go, so let's not just criticize and, you know, hope for the best. Uh, but I know what's happened in the last three days. It's a uh, disaster and nobody could fathom the fact that actually this would happen. So, uh, you know, what is done is done. So, you know. We also have Manjit Dua with us, who's the chief national coach of the table tennis team. Uh, sir, we will talk table tennis with you, but since we are talking about the official dumb of Indian sports uh, and, you know, particularly a sport like shooting, which has raised the hopes of a billion people. We thought that we will win many medals this time around. Uh, in Rio, we didn't uh, manage to win any. And here till now, the shooters have <coughs> drawn blank. Is it time that, you know, the Federation takes the responsibility and perhaps some heads should roll there instead of putting the blame right back on the shooters and on the coaches? Oh, well, uh, let us not blame each other because uh, in sports, it is it will be a bit discouraging. Thing is, uh, it at times this happens. See, all along they have been performing well and we have been very, very happy with regard to their performance. But in Olympics, it's, the competition is de definitely very, very high. And, the, you know, as, as the world uh, went through very bad pace right. and... Uh, and uh, this has definitely disturbed all athletes. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
if you see uh, uh, our performance as for the table tennis is concerned mm -hmm. reaching third round is a big achievement as mm -hmm. for the table tennis is concerned mm -hmm. uh, there is a saying to become or to win a gold medal in olympic is like winning a world war right <laughs> so the competition you can imagine as sina said and mm -hmm. uh, so they said see it happens this is not the first time mm -hmm. like uh, there are still uh, hopes many more competition is yet mm -hmm. to be started and mm -hmm. uh, let us be positive and uh, let us uh, give them uh, a, a big a big encouragement good feeling so that mm -hmm. you know they can perform well Sir, before we go back to Hina, I'll have to ask you a question since you mentioned about TT and winning a medal at uh, the Olympic Games are like, is like winning a world war. A lot of us thought that the mixed team uh, had hopes of winning a medal, but it seemed that the TTFI had no control over at least one of its star players. Well, this question is for Hina yes, or for me? Yes, for you, sir. Okay. uh see uh, I, uh we all feel very strongly that this has been a very unfortunate incident this should not have happened as i said earlier also this will definitely reflect the uh youth back home because everybody is watching and they have been uh, feeling uh, very sad and bad about it and uh, uh when the federation meets after the uh olympic is over i'm sure they right. take up uh, this issue very mm -hmm. seriously so that in future we should not have any such problems and will definitely come over this this has happened this is not in the interest of the game because the coach accompanying at the moment has been a is mm -hmm. former national champion arjuna awardi and he's mm -hmm. been accompanying the indian team in several other competition and uh, he's a uh, he's been a gold medalist as true uh, the last commonwealth and uh, mm -hmm. asian games mm -hmm. this is a very sad incident which mm -hmm. occurred there mm -hmm. uh, but we are talking about ills of indian sports and let me get back to you hina jaspal rana and manu bhakar did not get along i did not know about this this morning president uh, went around giving statement as to how manu bhakar was humiliated by jaspal rana and uh, you know he couldn't mend their relationship is it the time to talk about such things uh, or uh, you know leave it off for after the olympics to sort out would you say these are the systemic ills of indian sports i think uh, whatever he has said uh, is not going to reach manu in any way she is off her phone she is off the media so uh, but at the same time the the world needed to know because a lot of blame game was happening and the blame was thrown at places where it did not belong uh, the nri has been quiet for a long time that's the reason you said you didn't know about this just to uh, just to try to wrap things up uh, amongst ourselves the nri has been um trying to cover it for a long time but you know when when someone just goes out there and tries to uh, create stories um you know even the federation has uh, has to step up for for their own people and that's what ranender did and i'm i'm thankful for him for doing that uh you know we are all here to follow his footsteps um and i think once manu's uh, match is over um the 25 meter match you uh, uh, the media can all uh, ask and direct all the questions to her and she will tell you exactly what went wrong um, so perhaps uh, that's the time when all these dissections need to be done and the time is not now hina let me ask you is there a realistic chance of manu bhakar making a comeback she is one more event the sports pistol event um uh, let's uh, i i would say i'll put my money on rahi uh i i've seen her perform Mm -hmm. uh 25 meter is not uh, uh the the best where uh, uh, manu is 
but at the same time she the scores that manu has shot in 25 meter uh, i still feel that she has the best chance in in making the finals in 25 meter she has the talent um the scores that we have seen her shoot if she repeats those scores she definitely will be and rahi as well nobody is talking about her she is she could prove to be the hidden right so uh, what the girls are doing well right let me go back to ranjan ranjan you have been to the olympic games and uh, we pretty much know by now that olympics is a field for uh, perhaps experienced people who who've shot there for a few times to uh, get a medal would you say that even picking this kind of a team a very young indian team was uh, the decision was faulty somewhere they should have picked uh, far more senior people and people who are at least uh, experienced in 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 you know shooting at the olympic stage to even dream of winning medals i don't agree with that actually you know i think what they did uh, this is the best we have you know the best lot we have you know the youngsters have performed and done well and otherwise they would have gone there and everything so but uh, don't forget that you know they've been shooting well for the last few years there has been a lot of uncertainty you know with the whole team uh you know as far as the staff is concerned the coaches and everything who's going who's not going to the olympic so uh, <clears throat> there were a couple of things and you know uh, people have to be a little more mindful you know and i feel that uh, we fumbled in few places uh, render the same you know try to do his best and everything to keep everybody in a cohesive atmosphere and everybody together but uh, you know Uh, they were fighting they were in fightings and all that so that's very disappointing to you know the coaches are fighting amongst themselves mm-hmm. uh, it's it's not the best of uh, the things to even hear actually right but i think they picked the right team and uh, i think the best people were there mm-hmm. so but that's unfortunate what's happened what's transpired and you know we should be more mindful enough next time well we do get we do hear you that it's unfortunate what has happened but let's not uh, forget that there are many other medal hopefuls still in contention and india can win some more medals from the ongoing tokyo olympic games thank you very much ranjan hina and mr dua for joining me on the broadcast